here we are on the range. It's 44 degrees. The wind's blowing 15 miles an hour right on my face. I'm hitting 126 yards, 6 yards. This is how. Okay, it's 45 degrees out here. Wind's blowing 15 knots steady out of the north. It's totally soggy, wet, and miserable. And I gotta work on my short game a little bit. I gotta devote a little time to my short game. So how are you gonna go about doing that? Well, for Palatka, you see, up and around those greens, when you get in an awkward position, there's really no good turf or anything it's just sand and it's lumpy sand and it's bad lies in the sand so I practice my short game by taking some balls and not hitting bunker shots but hitting these balls as if it's a chip shot or a typical wedge shot off turf but yet I do it out of the sand to see if I can hit the shot off a crappy lie like this. Okay, here's what I'm doing today. I came out for just a little warm up bucket, kind of working on some things on my swing. And uh, then I spent some time in the bunker out there chipping balls, not hitting bunker shots, but hitting chip shots hitting a standard chip shot off that bunker sand uh, kind of gives you an idea of what to do on the uh, Palatka thing because you get so many if you get anywhere near hole high off to the sides of those greens you're going to be in very irregular terrain that's mostly sandy with some freaking clovers and crap like that in it so those kind of shots I mean there's no way to practice those around here. We don't have any kind of terrain that's anywhere near that. So the only thing I know to do is get into a bunker and take a wedge and just chip the balls out of the bunker as if you're just hitting a standard chip shot. And surprisingly, I can do it. So it just takes a lot of work in that regard. So while I got some time this afternoon to kind of give you the indication of what I'm working on on my full swing, I'm gonna go back over to the shop and I'm going to pull up a video of my swing and I'm gonna talk you through what it is I'm working on. Uh, of course, so that you can understand what it is I'm trying to accomplish. I mean, my golf game is bad. My swing is not very good. Not only that, I have zero power. I'm, I'm really the weakest that I've ever been as far as hitting the ball goes. And I, part of that's 44 degrees and wind out of the north, I know. But um, the key is I gotta hit the ball solid. And so I'm working on some stuff that Russ Austin has showed me. And I'm working on some stuff that I'll, I'll show you kind of what I'm trying to accomplish when I get back to the office and I'll pull up a video of the swing and kind of let you see what it is that I'm working on. And you know, it'll remain to be seen if I can improve it. But uh, the effort's there. I got, a phone, I got a text message a minute ago from one of my compatriots, Reed Smith here, who says, hey, I'm over at Brainerd working on my game. That's right. So I thought, so I thought hey man, I'll go over there. Reed's gonna go down there and play Placa. So how's your game, Reed? It's coming along. Just trying to work on some short game. Down there at Palatka, it's, it's all about the short game down there. Yeah. You know. Oh, Reed, Reed and me uh, used about the same coach, Russ Austin, down there. Yeah. And uh, we're both trying to struggle with that swing. Reed pops it out there about 300. I ain't got I ain't got the technique to get 300 yet, so I keep working on it. So how's your short game, bud? It's coming along. It's it's getting there. We're uh, right now we're working on some 
chipping only it only wanted to get it on there about three or four feet onto the green let it roll what's your uh what's your strategy down there at plaga what how, what's gonna make you shoot the best score you ever shot because i know you're gonna shoot the best score you ever shot uh just a mind game trying to yeah yeah it's yeah. it's uh yeah trying to keep myself calm so what is that what is the secret to you think uh, where you go wrong in the mental aspect and what are you going to do to fix it? How are you going to brainwash yourself? Uh, just not really thinking much about the swing, just trying to get the ball on the green and make it uh, do some putting, you know. So what goes wrong in the mental game? Uh, I just start overthinking it, overthinking the game, you know. This, that course right in between these two ears. That's, so if you make a mistake, how are you going to figure out how to react? figure out how to react i mean you know mistakes seem to linger in your game used to when you was a kid so yeah. it's like how are you overcoming that uh just again just not thinking about it much you know uh just get out there and play some golf cool well show us some uh, short game there you go that's what bobby jones said technique right there looks pretty good watching a video of uh, Mike Bender he okay says, uh, anything right around the green you just wanted to throw it three or four feet on the green here. Oh. yeah uh, it's a lot easier to hit a shot to right here you better believe that's right so. these kids they start learning they get on up here in the mid to late 20s <laughs> Look at that. Mike tried to tell me this uh, about five, six years ago. <laughs> I didn't want to believe it. What was wrong with your ears? Your ears didn't work, did they? Huh? That was the ears. Ears didn't work. Now the ears are working. Amen. Look at there. You're going to get that and up and down, aren't you, bud? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, swing mechanics. What I'm working on. Now, granted, I probably I've been playing golf for 50 years now, and it's like my swing is probably what my swing is. However, there are some things that I can improve in my swing, and so I work on those and. It gives me confidence when I hit the ball a little bit better. And when I start hitting the ball really good, it gives me a lot of confidence. So I'm a confidence player. When my confidence is up, I can play really good. Uh, when my confidence is down, I'm searching. I'm just, I can't do anything. I can't stick it up my butt with both hands. So that's why I practice so much. And this is uh, just kind of an indication as to where I'm starting and what's going on. So you can see my dress position here. I got these lines drawn on here. There's the original shaft plane line, my butt up against the wall back there, and where my head uh, position starts off, okay? So that looks okay, right? All right, the next one, uh, let's see here. The next one here, this is kind of the halfway back position. You can see that I, have the shaft pretty well on plane. I've kind of backed up my head just a little bit. I've turned my hips a lot, you know, which is okay by me. Some guys don't like it, but I'm fine with it. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now, uh, I got a one another picture here that's halfway down. And you can see that on the downswing, uh, I'm too steep. I'm way off of the original shaft plane line. And you can see my rear ends come off the wall. Uh, my head's backed up. So this is just a classic hump in the goat kind of situation. So uh, my coach, uh, Russ Austin down at Dalton Country Club, has told me that I got to drop my hands, drop my hands, drop my hands, drop my hands from the top. And I never could really figure it out. And I worked on that and never could figure it out. But ultimately, 
what I figured out was that he was trying to tell me to do was to get that shaft plane and get the plane back down on the original shaft plane line, that red line. And so once I started figuring that out, it's like, okay, I've got to get that, sh that shaft back down on that original red line so that I'm on that line at impact because Hogan was that way and Trevino was that way, the great ball strikers, you know, those two classic guys put that shaft right back down on that original red line. So that's the thing that I'm trying to accomplish. So you can see how far away I am from that. I'm over the top, I'm too steep coming down, my shaft is over the plane. So that's what I gotta fix and work on. And, uh-oh, uh lost my position here. Um, at impact, and you can see that frames don't show it. The club head's not quite got to the ball. But you look at those green lines. That's how much steeper I am in impact. And you can see my rear ends come off the wall. My head's backed up. So, I mean, those are the things that are wrong in my swing. And so those are the things that I'm working on fixing. Every swing that I make, I try to improve those things so that, you know, I get, I get closer to the ideal. And then ultimately, uh, you look on the through swing here. Now, I know I absolutely laser striped it with a persimmon driver. That's okay. But you can also see how far away that club shaft is from the original plane line. I mean, it's probably two feet higher coming through than it ought to be, okay? So those are the things that I'm working on in my swing to improve, to get the delivery of that club right back down on that original red line because that's the easiest place to release it from and that's the best place to put the club coming through the shot. So those are the things that I'm working on in my swing mechanics throughout the whole time and I'm trying to learn how to hit this ball better. So those are the things that I'm working on on my game to get ready for the Azalea Amateur. You saw how I hit chip shots, how I worked on just hitting standard chip shots out of the bunker. And uh, you saw that I hit hundreds of range balls per day. And you saw the swing sequence stuff that I showed you where I'm working on my swing and what I'm trying to improve. And all of these things are the things I'm doing, why? To break 231 in 54 holes at Palaka in the, in the Azalea. So, episode two in the books. See you later.